What's up everyone, Mr. Octagonal here from Octagonal Gaming. Now, Season 1 of the Detroit Tigers franchise is in the books. Thank goodness, because it was an ugly season. 62-100. and 100. On the bright side, our double-A team, the Seawolves, won the Eastern League Championship, so I guess that's cool. But we ended up with triple-digit losses, tied for the worst team in the majors with the Kansas City Royals. I don't know who's going to get the number one overall pick. Hopefully it'll be us, because I'd rather number one than number two. But overall, this season was ugly. We're going to need some help, Alejandro. Okay, so let's look at our stats. Victor Reyes, he had about 260. He had an okay year. He was a rookie. I do plan on keeping him as a starter next season. Jaimir Caldenero, he actually had a good year. He made the all-star team. So I'm happy with the way he played. Christian Stewart, nothing, not that special of a season. Bobby Bradley, his average plummeted in August. Uh, he does have a lot of power, though. Hopefully his contact can improve. Fernando Tatis, he was just part of September call-ups. Didn't do too much. John Hicks, he had an okay year. He probably won't be on our team long-term, though. Lowen Jones, another September call-up player. He looks like he had an okay season. Nico Goodrum, nothing great. Jake Rogers, September call-up, nothing great. Jared Saltzel-Makia, not going to be on our team long-term. Same with Luis Valdez, not really that special. Melvin Upton, we signed in free agency. We'll probably just trade him in the offseason or cut him. Dixon Machado, 270. That's not a bad year. Maybe he'll stick around. Jacoby Jones, not really that good of a year. Looking for rotation. Michael Fulmer, he had a terrible record, 4-15. and 15, But that's just because this team is complete aids. He had a 3.29 ERA, 205 innings, 141 strikeouts. So overall, pretty good season for Fulmer. Daniel Norris was not that good. Liriano was not that good. Matt Manning, he was during September call-ups, September call not that good. Franklin Perez showed flashes, not great. Mike Fires, he pitched a whole, not even one inning, because he tore his rotator cuff his first game of the year. Uh, the bullpen was not too insane. Julian Fernandez, one of the trade deadline pickups, he was good, but he only pitched in 4.1 innings, so that's not, like, saying much. Alex Wilson, he pitched pretty well. He'll probably, he'll probably be on the roster next year to be determined. So, currently, this is the order for the top prospects. Ronald Acuna is no longer a prospect. Currently, the number one prospect is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Fernando Tatis in at number 11. I doubt we'll see Franklin Perez. I doubt he's considered a prospect. Don't know if Matt Manning is considered one. Alex Fiedo at number 31. Okay, Matt Manning is at 36, so he's still considered a prospect. And Bo Burrows, who was on our team, but for whatever reason, the game decided to put him on waivers, and he signed with the Mariners. That makes absolutely no sense. He was on our team, like, the whole season, so I'm going to try to get him back in the offseason stream. So, let's look at league statistics. Jose Altuve with a 340 batting average. I believe his contract is up, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that should be interesting. And the NL, that went to Odubo Herrera of the Philadelphia Phillies. He looks like he had a great season. Dang. Hits went to Jose Altuve and Odubo Herrera. At bats, most at bats went to the former Kansas City Royal. Lorenzo Cain, he looked like he had a nice season. Doubles went to Altuve. Triples went to Cesar Hernandez. I don't know who that is. Not I know who Nolan Arenado is. I don't know who that RF whatever. Home runs, uh Nolan Arenado and Jake Lamb in the NL. NBAL Nelson Cruz. This guy just does not really age. RBIs, Nolan Arenado and George Springer. Runs, Christian Yelich. The ladies are yelling for Yelich. Stolen bases, D Gordon. With 73, I'm going to have to check if that's a record. Walks, 100 for Aaron Judge. I thought the league leader in walks would be a little higher, honestly. On base percentage, Paul Goldschmidt. Slugging goes to Bryce Harper. OPS, Bryce Harper. Wins, Chris Sale, 22 wins. Losses, just two for David Price. I would imagine the Red Sox were pretty good this season. Saves Andrew Miller with 50. Hunter Strickland, Bryce Harper's best friend, with 55. ERA, David Price, and Noah Syndergaard. Home runs allowed, only 11 for Clayton Kershaw. Another great year for him. 
shutout six for Kershaw. Strikeouts 258 for Kershaw. His numbers are absurd. Complete game six for Chris Archer, Noah Syndergaard, Max Scherzer, the former Detroit Tiger, and Clayton Kershaw. Innings pitch goes to David Price. Walks all out, only 28 for Ryan Weber. In 170 innings, that is really impressive. Whip went to Chris Sale. Pitching war went to Clayton Kershaw by a lot. Batting war went to Jose Altuve. And the NL went to Odubo Herrera. And that's it for stats. Standings, the Indians won the AL Central with an 104-58 record. The Twins also made the wild card in the AL East. The Red Sox, 107 and 55. The Yankees also made a wild card spot at 85 and 77. And in the West, the Astros won the division with only 85 wins. Here are the wild card standings. Angels won game off. In the NL East, it was all Washington, unsurprisingly. In the NL Central, that went to the Cubs. In the NL West, that went to the Dodgers. And it looks like no one. Oh, no one won the wild card in the, in the NL because of a potential tiebreaker. It looks like the Giants, Cardinals, Rockies, and maybe the Diamondbacks. I don't know if the Diamondbacks are still in it. I doubt it. So, looking at awards, the AL MVP goes to Chris Sale. Very well-deserved. NL MVP goes to Nolan Arenado. Another great season. Very well-deserved. Zion, Chris Sale, Clayton Kershaw, not too shocking. Robbie Ray at number two. One of the most underrated players, at least last year, in my opinion. Batting title, Jose Altuve and Odubo Herrera. Reliever of the year went to Sean Doolittle and Andrew Miller. Rookie of the year goes to Tyler Kinley over Bobby Bradley and Victor Reyes, wherever he is. And apparently this game does not think Shohei Otani is a rookie. Kinley or Bradley, you can make your argument. I would give it to Bradley. I know his average wasn't great, but it's still solid. And in the NL, it goes to Garrett Cooper. Bradley was certainly better. If anything, it really should have gone to Yairo Munez. Munoz. Don't know how to say that. Hank Aaron went to Bryce Harper and Edwin Encarnacion. Gold Glove, Ryan Weber, Luis Castillo. He's an 87. Uh, Jorge Alfaro, Gary Sanchez, Chris Davis, Ryan Zimmerman, Azdrubal Cabrera, Robinson Cano, Jan Hervis Salerte, Nolan Arenado, Brandon Crawford, Manny Machado, Andrew Benintendi, Christian Yelich, Lorenzo Kane, Kevin Kiermeyer, Mookie Betts, and Jason Hayward. What's his rating? 83. I'll get gold gloves. Silver Slugger, Jake Arrieta, Tyler Naquin, Gary Sanchez, Wilson Contreras, Joey Votto, Jose Abreu, Brian Dozier, Daniel Murphy, Nolan Arenado, Kyle Seeger, Carlos Correa, Corey Seeger, both Seegers, Christian Yelich, Nelson Cruz, George Springer, Adam Duvall, Bryce Harper, and J.D. Martinez. They're all the silver sluggers, so let's just see what goes on in the playoffs. So, 62-100. Obviously, we did not make the playoffs. And the Red Sox beat the Nationals in the World Series in a six-game series. The Red Sox really seemed like the team to beat, and the Nationals actually make it out of a first round, beating the Chicago Cubs in five games, so that'll end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the offseason. We'll be sometime this week or this weekend. I'm not entirely sure of the date yet. I'm out. Peace. I'm a Bobby Hey, hey, man!